Yes, of course your normal Minecraft world is supposedly infinite, or at least seemingly unobservable in its whole, but let's think about this world as a planet in our universe that operates within the bounds of Newtonian mechanics. One property we know we have is gravity. Objects are attracted to the surface, most of the time at least, so we can use Newton's law of gravitation, that is, force equals the gravitational constant times mass 1, mass 2 all over the radius squared, and we're going to be solving for the big M. Let's think about force first. According to Newton's second law, this is equal to mass times acceleration. With this, we can cancel out the small m's. Now, we need acceleration on this world. In my last video, I found it for an arrow, which is best because its aerodynamic shape makes for the least interference from air resistance. I attempted to find the acceleration of an anvil to compare it. Expectedly, it was much slower, only about 13 meters per second squared. So, we're going to be using 23 meters per second squared to keep it simple. Now, we need the radius. We're going to be finding the radius the same way the Greeks did, using the sun's movement combined with some geometry and a stopwatch. It starts by standing at a point just when the sun first sets, and we set the time at zero. Then, we move immediately to a second point higher up and begin a stopwatch. When we see the sunset here, we'll find the time between those two sunsets. We're going to be using the following equation to calculate for the radius. Here, x is equal to the radius, and k is equal to 2 times the length of a Minecraft day in seconds divided by 2 pi squared. I highly recommend for you to see how this equation is derived using the link in the description. From this equation, we need two heights. We see the sun from eye level, so I'll use a proportion with the character's known height of 1.94 meters. The h1 value will turn out to be 1.67 meters. I made the h2 exactly 20 meters higher. Now we can calculate the radius. But first, we need to know that a Minecraft day is exactly 20 minutes, and seconds would be 1200. Now you can take these values and plug it into this equation, and produce a radius of 3800 meters. For comparison, here is a table of planets radii. The Minecraft world definitely is quite small, but let's see how heavy it is. If we plug this radius into our original gravity equation and solve for the big M, the mass ends up being 4.98 times 10 to the 18 kilograms, or about 5 quintillion kilograms. Compared to other planets in our solar system, it's actually quite light, but still pretty heavy for such a small radius. This info is quite fun to expand upon. Try for yourself to figure out a volume or density for a Minecraft world. Maybe the sizes of the sun and moon for this strange planet. And of course, be sure to share your investigations in the comments.